Is the Undas rush on or is this just the normal week and exodus to the provinces? Marian Enriquez joins us live from the Araneta Bus Center Terminal. Robbie, it might seem like a normal Friday night here at the Araneta Center Bus Terminal, but some passengers are already making advanced trips and bookings to spare them from the rush expected next week. Before Undas, passengers are now scrambling to get tickets in bus and airport terminals across the country. Their goal? They just want a hassle-free journey. 56-year-old Arnel Viernes is expecting a mad rush next week. He's now heading to Matnog Sorsogon. I don't want to get to the airport because next week there are a lot of airport. That's why I just want to get to the airport. For bus operators, though, sales during the November long weekend is pale in comparison to the holiday rush of Christmas or Holy Week. They say they don't run out of tickets during Ondas. Wala mo pasero yan, ma'am. Hindi mo napupuno kayo nung pag-tick season dyan. Yung Pasko, bagong taon, Holy Week, yan, election. Pero itong Ondas, wala po ito. Parang regular day lang po ito, ma'am. Based on past years, they only get to deploy four to five buses a day during the November break. But bus dispatchers advise it still pays to buy tickets in advance. According to the terminal's general manager, Ramon Legaspi, they're expecting commuters to flood the station starting Tuesday. They're anticipating a 10% increase in passenger volume this year. Hence, they're amping up security. Sa part namin sa security, we double our money. Ano, kung uh, dyan po sa mga entrances, kung... Isa security boy yan, magiging dalawa po yan, and then may K-9 kami. Sa kapulisan naman po, depende po sa Station 7, ano? uh, but 24 hours naman yung kanilang pagbibigay ng security dito. Robbie, aside from buying tickets one week ahead, passengers are also reminded not to bring any prohibited items such as sharp objects, firearms, and uh, flammable products. Robbie? Thank you. That was uh, Marian Enriquez live from the Araneta Center bus terminal. Preparations are also underway at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport for the Undas break. The country's main gateway has already installed new X-ray machines. Marasakit help desks will also be set up to handle all inquiries and provide assistance to passengers. MIAA has also coordinated with the Bureau of Immigration officers. Po sila na pupunuan ang mga counters, lalo ngayong peak season. Sana ho matupad at uh, magawa ho na hindi ho mahirapan ang ating mga pasahero. A week before Undas, preparations have already been made at the Manila North Cemetery. Jenny Dongon will be joining us live at the cemetery. Jenny? Robbie, the Malila North Cemetery Management says it has already prepared for the influx of visitors for next week's Undas. That includes demolishing structures and shanties inside the cemetery. The Malila North Cemetery has been Mangjeri and his wife's refuge for five years. Distraught over the death of their daughter and grandchild, he built a shanty near their tombs. This morning, the Manila local government has started demolishing structures at the cemetery. Kung paalisin kami rito, ay hindi pa rin ako papayag. Ganda niya ang mga anak ko. Ito ang mga ang anak ko nasa loob ng bahay. Maricel's family stays at one of the cemetery's apartments. The stock tombs have served as their shelter for five decades. With the impending demolition, she doesn't know where to go. Mahal po kasi yung pangupa, 7 mil po. Dito ma'am, libre naman yung wala na kayo. Oo. Kuryente, wala naman kuryente. Jumper lang po. There are 2050 informal settlers here according to the Manila North Cemetery Management. No choice po yun po kasi talaga eh. Wala na po kaming mailagay na kapag meron pong patay na ililibing, wala na po kaming maipaglalagyan sa kanila. Droves of people have already started cleaning tombs. They have until October 29th. Beyond that, cleaning tools will be confiscated. Burial ceremonies are also temporarily suspended from October 28 to November 3, while vendors will be prohibited inside the cemetery starting November 1. Those who wish to pay respects to the dead are expected to bring their own food and drinks.
Robbie, the management is now coordinating with the police and other agencies for additional security and medical services on All Saints Day and the weekend after more than one million people are expected to visit their loved ones here at the Manila North Cemetery. Robbie. Thank you. That was Jenny Dong live at the Manila North Cemetery.